Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are gonna talk to Ananda here. And ask him but if he has course. anything for sale. Comb, mustache wax, grooming brush, animal whisper plus one. That's not bad. Monocle, barter plus one, perception plus two. But we'll get a monocle as a reward from Gideon. Ability Brago smoke to gain plus ten percent crit chance. Thirty six turns. Med high pose. Some ammo. Doesn't really have much, does he? Hmm. Do we have antidote? Uh, usable items. I think we have some antidote. No. I feel certain that we bought some antidote. Let's buy some. Just buy two or something. Sell our junk. We have 1600. Okay. Hmm. Could sell some of this stuff. Doesn't sell for much, though. And we have a lot of stuff. We did get the Kiss Ass book. But we'll save all those until we're at high levels where it costs more. Fanny pack. Don't really think we need anything. I don't really think we need anything. Uh, we bought the antidote, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's see if you. It is simple. To get inside, you need an entrance uh... pass. You can purchase one at the door, or find an established bazaar merchant to vouch for you. Okay. Have an exquisite day. Thanks, you too, dude. You let's talk to the great me... Gurn. Ah, ha! I see you have come from afar. Well, your travels are amply rewarded, for you have reached the one and only, the seer of fortunes and teller of truths, the great Gurn! Wow. Oh, wow, really? Never heard of you. Where's he then? Behind you? Oh, wow, really? Yes, I know, I know. Your ears can scarce believe what you're seeing. Ah, but it is indeed I, ready to tell your fortune. <laughs> what a crackpot. Uh, why aren't you inside the bazaar? Uh, Flab is a cabron who wouldn't recognize talent if it bit him in the belly. He claims the monster army already has some kind of mechanical fortune teller. But how could a machine possibly match my intuition? My gift? My panache? That's a good question, man. Uh, tell us our fortune. Wisely chosen. Those who do not prepare for the future are clowns. To begin, you must think of your favorite color. Concentrate solely on the color. Let the color completely fill your mind. Estás ready? Yeah. Uh, don't have a favorite color. Okay, ready. I see an ocean of waves. Your color is blue. Uh, that's right. Of course, of course. The great Gurn is never wrong. Ah. An image of your future is forming. Hmm. Now tell me, what is it that brought you to Colorado? 
Uh, ooh, the Patriarch promises resources. Ah, the most noble of sentiments. The image begins to grow clearer. Now I must know, for what purpose have you come to the bazaar? We're here trying to solve an issue with refugees. We're exploring. We're exploring. Yes, yes, fascinating. It's all coming together now. Listen carefully, for the fortune I tell you may very well save your lives and the lives of many. Your noble goal only slips further away if you wander without aim. The early bird gets the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. Ah, yes. A vision becomes clearer now. Now I can clearly see you standing before a red balloon. The red balloon bursts without warning, and you stand covered in red blood. Beware! <laughs> Beware! <laughs> that is uh, all I can see. Red Your path game. is hard, Maman. The fates have spoken to me. I must give you this key. May it be of no use. What's this key for? The great guard stares at, the, at a point in the distance, softly chanting in an unfamiliar language. He does not appear willing to answer your question. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Beware the red balloon! All right. Paris Handler. What are you all about? Hi. Hey there. Hi. Yeah. I'm Paris. Trying to get into the bazaar to sell my dyes. Same as you, I imagine. The getting into the bazaar part. Not the dyes. Unless you do dyes, which is totally cool by me if you do. Hi. Hello. Do you know anything about the refugee situation? What are you doing here? What are these people doing here? Out outside the refugees? Bizarre. Don't know about that. I mean, everyone here looks like they're refugees. Have you seen us? It's cold here. <laughs> Try Amanda. <laughs> He's this really well-dressed guy, comes out here a lot preaching waistcoats or something. He knows everybody. What are you doing here? We know that. Uh, what are these people doing hanging around outside the yeah? bazaar? They're hoping someone would sell them an entrance pass or help them get inside. The bazaar's got this code, you see? Unless you're a big shot Flab can't do without, you're not allowed to come in. Anyhow... Um, okay. Flab's uh, the leader of the bazaar. He's a big guy, which is why everyone calls him Flab, you know? It's kind of mean, but Flab doesn't seem to mind, so whatever, I guess. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. So long. Uh, chemicals? The table for you is covered in various carefully marked containers and tools for the mixing of chemicals. Uh, mix chemicals at random. Surprisingly, you're unique. Just do whatever approach to sign does not bear any worthwhile results. At least nothing exploded. Okay. And then we have some sleeping bags. Sleeping bags provide a space efficient way for hopefuls to hide their buy their time in the camp while they earn their way into the bazaar. Okay, and then there's a bunch of hopefuls. Looking to get into the bazaar? Good luck. Okay. I don't think there's anything else here that we can really do now. Alright, well let's head over here and take a look. Six-fingered Larry. Howdy strangers. Name's Six-fingered Larry. Hunter. Though, it seems you find me plumb out of wares. Her beside him squawks obnoxiously. He studiously ignores the bird. That's an interesting parrot. Is it for sale? Why do they call you Six-Fingered Larry? You know anything about a band of smugglers moving refugees through this area? Uh, why do they call you Six-Fingered Larry? I've only got five fingers on each hand. Same as anyone else. Okay. Maybe it's got something to do with the fact I'm good with my hands. <laughs> I'm not the sword who'd kiss and tell, though. Okay. Um... That's an interesting Paris. <laughs> you don't want him. Barrett's got a bit of an attitude problem. Tried to peck his way through a kid's skull the other week. 
If you insist, though, you'll have to talk to Polly yourself because I got no say in what he's going to do. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think I want to buy Polly. You know anything about a band of smugglers? Only that they make more money than I do. Bastards. But to answer your question, nah, I'm an honest businessman. I don't waste my time with criminals. Why don't you try the Mannerite? Yeah, the, the one with the suit. He knows all about the local lowlife. Okay. We were hoping to ask you a few questions about the I'm bizarre. no local, but ask me anything you want. I'll see if I can be useful. You want to get into the bazaar? Could you watch for us? Me? Nah. I don't got the bona fides. Okay, who's in charge here? That'd That's be Flab. Flab the Inhaler. He leads what's left of the monster army after the Patriarch gutted their ranks. As far as dictators go, he's actually not half bad. Okay. Anything we should know about this place? The bazaar? It used to be something else. Now, it's just old and fat, wheezing through its last days. Easy pickings. Okay. All right, goodbye. Be seeing you. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's try talking to Ananda again, because now we have some more information about him. Uh, we have some more then questions. I will endeavor to supply more answers. You said you're a Mannerite. Aren't most Mannerites settled out west? Can you tell us anything else about this area? Who is the monster army? Ah, true cosmopolites, I see. Indeed, a Mannerite is one of the rare few fortunate enough to operate under the auspice of Mr. Manners, proponent of good behavior in these ugly times. Most of us reside in Angel Oracle, but I chose to travel and spread the word. We okay. Mannerites oh. believe that poise is only second to godliness. To live is to comport oneself with exquisite grace. If you're curious, I'd be more than happy to supply a copy of our holiest scripture, the Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners. Okay, can we have a copy of May that book? May it help you as much as it did me, and find your path to a life of civility. With a flourish, he presents you with a copy of the Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners, a thick volu volume of impeccable penmanship, extensive, extensive footnotes and recipes on how to be how to best how best to serve the uncouth, okay? Uh. Of course. Our immediate environs are a safe area, protected by the monster army. Wander outside these confines, and safety is not guaranteed. I can't tell you more, as I've never ventured out there myself. Okay, who's the monster army? They are the organization in charge of the bazaar. I've heard tales that once they were truly a monstrous gang, spreading fear all throughout Colorado. I'm happy to tell you that their current incarnation is much more sophisticated and civilized, though they have a ways to go. They are led by Mr. Jacob Martin, colloquially known as Flab the Inhaler, a man who has truly embraced his position and leads this place with panache. I do wish he had a better tailor, though. You can find him inside the bazaar proper, as he rarely ventures outside. Okay. Okay. Have an exquisite day. Well, I don't guess we're gonna be getting inside the bazaar. Let's try walking up this, though. Welcome to the bazaar, little lambs. Behave yourselves. Yeah, we will. Mostly. There's a container. Let's take a look at that. Bazaar under assault. Okay, it dates back to the war between the Patriarch and the Monster Army. Let's see that. Listen up, Masters. The next son of a bitch who says we're losing this war gets strung up by his nuts. You hear me? Doesn't matter how much territory we've lost. There's only one way inside the mall. As long as we control it, Buchanan can't touch us. He can sit out there with his army and pound snow for all I care. All we 
we gotta do is hold out. The lamb and the wolf got different needs. Sooner or later, Buchanan will have to negotiate. And then we'll have him right where we fucking want him. Okay. As we approach the trailer, the speakers bolted onto it crackled to life. The lamb stands at the door. <laughs> what sacrifice do they bring to the door of monsters? Uh, we want to get into the bazaar. <laughs> the lamb speak. You know what? You asked me a straight question. Let's forget about the lamb nonsense. Oh, thank God. The bazaar lies beneath your feet, covered by decades of snow. The only way in is through the gate beneath this RV. The only people who can open this gate, we, the monster army. If you want to get in here, you need to do one of two things. Buy an entrance pass, or get an established bazaar merchant to vouch for you. Sometimes we let Colorado's most famous in, but it's been years since such an exception was made. Okay. Don't you know who we are? We're the Rangers. How much does an entrance pass cost? Huh. That's nice. Doesn't mean shit to me, but I'm happy for you. <laughs> I figured as much. How much does an entrance pass cost? More than it should, honestly. But that's what happens when one party has a monopoly on supply. Sorry. Anyway. Okay. What if we don't want to get a pass? Then you don't come in. This door is controlled from the inside, so you're stuck out there until you get your pass. You know what? We have the money. Let's buy the pass. Gold makes equals of monsters and lambs. You've bought yourself passage to the bazaar. We will send your prize up shortly. Sure enough, a pass pops out of a pneumatic table. Right. Here you come. Behave yourselves, my little lambs. Okay, we're in. Let's go. The depth the monster army owes to Robert. George Pickett cannot be overestimated. Okay, I don't know who that is. But if you're enjoying the video and enjoying Wasteland 3, why not hit that like button? It really helps me out a lot and I really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, why not hit the sub button as well, the notification bell, so you know when new videos are coming. And if you have tips, tricks, anything except spoilers, then I'd love to, to see those too in the comments section. And I read all my comments, and I reply to by far the most of them. So, uh, yeah, leave your comments. I love to read them. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> What's going on? Are, are we under attack? Uh, no, no, I'm sure we're not under attack. Jesus. Fuck. I swear, I only opened the Warren's gate for one second and that fucking pig bolted by me. Uh, 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 don't worry, folks. Uh, the bazaar is secure. Uh, move along, everyone. Ah, new visitors. Don't fret. Come and hear about the marvels of the bazaar. Okay. A nightmare in the bazaar. Talk to the person in charge of the bazaar. Well, there are are traders everywhere here, which is kind of nice. All right, well, let's talk to Simon the Squatch. This man is wearing the same outfit as the guards outside, a wolf mask and letterman jacket. As you get closer, you notice the outfit looks old and worn, patched up and many times through the years. Fresh lambs, esteemed guests. The door guard informed me you were coming. You are most welcome to all the delicacies and pleasures the bazaar has on offer, provided you have the coin. Okay. <laughs> I hope you're not shaken by this disturbance. It is a minor matter, I assure you. Your shopping experience should be nothing short of completely safe. Okay. What the hell was that explosion? What kind of stores do you have? Please, please, lower your voice. I don't know, okay? Someone's been strapping explosives to real pigs. Real pigs made up with real lipstick, real eyeshadow. I 
prank? Is it some asshole's idea of a prank? I'm guessing it's the smiling lady. You'll find stairs to the upper level in the back. They will take you to our esteemed leader, Flab. Talk to him if you want to know more. Okay. What kind of stores we do you have, have here? All kinds. All kinds indeed. Fischatelli sells weapons to any weary pilgrim. Gwyn Talbot is your woman if you need protective gear. Dr. Coldcuts can sell you medical supplies or see to your health needs. And in the okay. central area, you'll find the Fountain Bar. A good place to kick back with a drink and some of Masato's delicious pork. Okay. Uh, all right, thanks for looking Enjoy around. Enjoy your visit. Mall directory. Sign reads, a rectory and shop. Die, play. Some very mature comedian has clearly altered the lettering. Okay. Now, I noticed that we have this armor six. This is armor plus six. This is only armor plus four. You do have four strength. Yeah. So let's get that on him. Do we have anyone wearing plus three armor? That's plus four. No, plus five. That's plus five. Okay. All right. Well, I guess we'll take a look around. I suggest you speak the flag. No, that's where we're going. Ugh, why? It takes Dr. Coldcut can do what ails ya. Talk to our boss if you're here to help. Okay. Get your barracks. But they're too small. I wonder if I can get this in black. What's that? Broken slicer dicer. The robot slumps in place, eaten by rust, almost lifeless, save for the faint pinpoint glow of its pupils. Trying to fix the robot? No. Hey, you function. Kick the robot. Alright, let's just leave. I don't want to fix it. Tarjan. Ha ha ha. That's the fortune teller thing. From, um. From big, right? Oh, what's his name? Leather dusters and stuff. I got this rash. The guy from Forrest Gump. Tom Hanks. Big, where he grows up because he wishes that he grows up. So he grows up overnight. Flab the inhaler. Well, let's talk to him. Ah, children of the desert. What wonderful music they make. What do you want of Jacob the Magnificent? The splendid, wonderful. Ah. <laughs> a corpulent man standing before you spit out a set of fake Dracula teeth and wipes his mouth. I thought as much it would be yeah. Dracula. Let's never mind with the acts, shall we? Rangers, I am so sorry you had to witness that horrible exploding pig. Truth is, you do not find us at the best of times. What's with the Dracula act? Do not judge harshly, my friends. We hold on to our rituals of the past to try to remember our long lost strength. It may strike you as pathetic, but it gives us much needed comfort. Okay. How can you be so calm after exploding pigs? What do you mean, not the best of times? You have not noticed? I am surprised, but nonetheless, we have been under assault, my friends. Something, someone. Some horrible unknown thing is roaming the warrens below us. People have been disappearing. Not to mention the pigs loaded with explosives running amok. Okay. You are the Patriarch's Rangers, yes? If 
he trusts you, so can I. Nothing we've done has helped, so your arrival could not be more fortuitous. We need your help to combat this threat. Okay, reward the drill sergeant's phrase book and six hundred and sixty-six dollars. Uh, how long has this been going on? Um, it's been two weeks, uh, maybe three. Not long at all. At first, we thought it might have been the fanciful imaginings of the <laughs> chemically influenced, but then a peak appeared out of nowhere, outside the bazaar, ran into a party of mashers, and exploded. Quite distressing. People have been disappearing ever since, and more pigs keep appearing. I need my mashers to keep the place safe. We need outside help. Your help. Okay. Uh, we'll go down and find who is behind this. We can check it out, assuming we're paid when we're done. We can check it out. Uh, spoken like a true citizen of the world. I suspect we shall be good friends, Rangers. Now, bring me news of what has been happening in the dark. If you come back, you shall be rewarded handsomely. Okay. We'll be back. The bazaar will be waiting. Monster Armor Lieutenant. Have you ever hear of Cyclops? Old boss of the bazaar. Some say he's back. For blood. For my love. Okay. Let's try this. See if they'll let us. Uh, stay away from that safe, lad. No. Alright, so I guess we're going down into the Warrens. We're pretty well healed. What's that? Oh, that's where we came in. It's two and three. All right, we'll check out the vendors here later, I think. Uh, let's first go check out what's underneath here. But we'll do that in the next one, guys, because we are basically out of time. So I'll head down and uh, then we'll be back in the next one so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time